Hi, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norm, the Nokia Lumia 710 is the first Windows phone that's available in the United States on contract. Made by Nokia. I said it was a Nokia Windows phone. Yep. So it's Nokia the future. has two current Windows phone 7 phones, handsets, the 800 and the 710. They have announced yes. the 900, which will come out in the Soon? coming months uh, in the US. But right now, if you want to get a, a Nokia Windows 7 phone yeah. in the US on contract, meaning cheap, around 50 bucks, this is your only option. Yeah, it's so, a 710. So this is a 710. It's essentially the same guts. Uh, it's got a 1.4 megahertz, or gigahertz rather, Qualcomm CPU, just like uh, just like the other, the Lumia 800. Mm -hmm. uh, the big differences are in screen. This is an LCD instead of an OLED. It's still 3.7 inches. And on the camera, the camera's five megapixels instead of eight megapixels. Seems to be nowhere near as good a, a camera sensor, although we don't have the 800 here still to do direct comparisons. Yeah, so obviously the body is different. It doesn't have the, the fancy uh, Polycarb. polycarbonate, you know, unibody. So you can definitely tell it's plastic and the fake rubberized backing. Uh, it's a little thicker. It feels it's, it's still chunky. It's chunky, but it's still comfortable to hold in your hand. Yeah, I, I actually like the way the edges are beveled. It feels pretty good, like you said, pretty good in your hand. I think it feels less cheap than some of the other uh, lower end Windows Phone 7 phones that we've tested in the past. Uh, one other big change is that this only has eight gigs of internal storage, uh, and there's no micro SD slot. So basically, eight gigs is it. This is this is all you're yep. getting, which makes sense in a fifty to hundred dollar phone, depending whether you buy it on the internet or in yeah. the store. Um, I've been using it for the last few days. I think it's perfectly serviceable. It's a little bit tough to recommend. It definitely doesn't compete with kind of the super phones Correct. Uh, from Android, you know, the Android super phones or even the iPhone. Uh, but it is it is a fairly uh, capable Windows Phone 7. Right, but on T-Mobile, I wouldn't want to necessarily give, like for example, my parents in a super Android phone. They're never going to no. customize it. Windows no. Phone 7 is very speedy. It's very responsive. Yeah, this hardware was great. For, and my it's parents, the same hardware. Yeah, exactly, it's the same hardware yeah. as 800 and it's, it's relatively cheap, 50 bucks on contract. Um, uh, one other big change is instead of having capacitive touch buttons along the bottom of the screen, these are physical buttons. You have to press them with your finger. Mm -hmm. I it's did notice weird. that it does itself the camera button on the side, the dedicated camera it does. button. It's not as easy to press on the 710 as it is on the 800, just because of the way it's, it's just very, very thin. It's right between uh, the plastic and the, the rubberized back. Uh, the camera's not as fast. It definitely doesn't do as well in low light as uh, the Lumia did the or the iPhone or, right. or whatever. Um, a couple other things to note. Uh, it does have Nokia Drive. Still sucks. Still sucks. Still not good. Yeah. Uh, you're going to turn it on when you tab out of the app, go to another app. Uh, in order to bring it back up, you have to you know hold the multitasking window and come back to it that way. Uh, and it's already gone, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, it has a bunch of apps bundled in. It has the ESPN app, which is exclusive to Nokia for a fairly short period of time, it seems like, because we saw some LG phones at, at CES that are going to have mm -hmm. uh, ESPN apps as well. Uh, and then the other thing it has, of course, is uh, um, T-Mobile's bundled and stuff like their yeah. TV app and stuff like that. I think all that stuff is deletable. You're going to delete that immediately after you get this phone, regardless. Um, I, I think this is, if you want an entry point for Windows 7 phone, I think this is an okay place to be. Although we're hearing rumors that the 900, when it comes out, is going to be priced very cheaply as well. Yes, and that will be on AT&T and, of course, the LTE. Right. This does not have LTE. This is just right. Fake. standard HSPA+. Plus, and the battery is a little smaller than on the 800. Uh, battery life still normal one day. It, yeah, I mean, I got a full day of use, no problem. Uh, this says it's 4G, but it, like Norm said, it's HSPA plus fake 4G, not yes. real LTE 4G. Uh, so this is the Nokia Lumia 710. I, I think it's an okay phone. Uh, I'm not you know, super stoked about it, but if you're looking for something right now and you're on T-Mobile, uh, you could do worse. For Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.